7. This question is about iron. Iron is a metal. Describe how iron conducts thermal energy. Thermal energy is transferred by delocalized electrons in the valence shell. The valence shell is the outer shell. The electrons in the outer shell are called the valence electrons. They are also called delocalized electrons because they are free to move. Question 7.2. Pure iron is too soft for many uses. Explain why mixing iron with other metals makes alloys which are harder than pure iron. 1. The alloy has different sized atoms and the layers are distorted because of the different size of atoms. The layers are not easily slide over each other and here's the diagram of an impure iron. The blue ones are the ions and the purple are the impurities and this is the pure iron. They can slide over each other because they all have the same size. This one, the blue one size is different from the purple one. So it's difficult to slide over each other. So this is harder and this is soft. So we can call that alloy iron plus other metals. This one here and this one is the pure iron. Question 7.3. When iron reacts with chlorine, 0.12 moles of iron reacts with 0.18 moles of chlorine gas, which is the correct equation for the reaction. So we have the ratio of iron to chlorine gas. This is iron metal and chlorine gas. And the number of mole, because we're giving moles here, so that is more and is more is 0 0.12 to 0 0.18. I can divide uh, both of these by the smallest number. The smallest number is 0 0.12. So I divide everything by 0 0.12. So that divided by 0 0.12 and that divided by 0 0.12. So I get the ratio. That one is 18 over 12 because if you move that point 1, 2, that means times it by 100, you move that point 1, 2. That's how I get the 18 over 12. Or you can times that by 100, times that by 100, there's no difference. So it'll be 18 over 12. That divided by that is 1 into, well, how many 6 goes in 18? 3. How many 6 goes in 12? 2. So that's 3 over 2. What we can do to avoid the fraction is to multiply everything by 2. Times that by 2 and times that by 2. So if I times this one by 2 here, that 2 will cancel that one. So I get 3. And I times that by 2, I get 2. So that is 2 to 3. So that's the ratio of iron to chlorine gas. If I look for 2 to 3, 1 to 1, 1 to 3, 2 to 1, I need 2 to 3. So that's what I'm looking for. Question 7.4. Or the most common oxides of iron are iron 3 oxide. That has to be 3 because that's 3 plus. This is 2 minus. This one has to be some kind of power here. So that's iron oxide and that's iron 3 oxide. What is the ratio of the numbers of ions in iron? So that's difficult to see what that would be. And so we need to write this down in a way to work it out. That one is easy because oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. So that's 3 times minus 2. This one is 2. So if iron is plus 3, three 2 times 3, that's 6. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. So 0 charge overall plus 6 minus 6. So that's balance. But this one is different. And that's why we're looking into it. So the first thing we should do is to write down iron 3 O4. We, be, we can write that as iron 2 plus plus iron 3 plus plus O2 minus. But then I've got, I've got 4 oxygen. The only thing I don't know is the ratio of these two. Now I've guessed this, but I need to work it out. Oxygen oxidation state for this is zero overall. So I need a zero oxidation state for this overall. I've got the 4 times minus 2, that would be minus 8. So if I do 2 times plus 3, that would be plus 6. 1 times plus 2, that would be plus 2. Plus 2 plus 6 is plus 8. Minus 8 would be 0. So that is a possibility. So that's plus 2 because that's 1 times plus 2. This is plus 6. That's 2 times plus 3. And this is 4 times minus 2. That's minus 8. I need to get 0 overall oxidation state. 
and that is correct plus 2 plus 6 minus 8 so that's what i'm looking for if you put plus 2 here and 1 there it wouldn't work because that would be plus 3 1 times plus 3 and 2 times plus 2 that would be plus 4 plus 3 that's plus 7 so it wouldn't work that's the combination that works so what i'm doing is look for that here i'm looking for ion 2 plus 1 stoichiometric mole ion 3 plus 2 stoichiometric mole oxygen 2 minus 4 stoichiometric mole if i go up here 1 ion 2 plus into ratio 2 ion 3 plus into ratio 4 oxygen 2 minus so that's what i'm looking for Question 7.5. Calculate the percentage by mass of iron in iron oxide. Relative atomic masses AR for oxygen is 16 grams per mole. For iron is 56 grams per mole. To work out the ratio of iron in iron oxide, so that's iron and the overall is iron oxide. Iron is 56 and I've got three of them, so times 3 over there is 3 iron there which is 56 times 3 plus 4 oxygen 16 times 4 and I times it by 100 that gives 168 over 168 plus 64 all times 100 168 over 232 times 100 and that gives 0 0.724 times 100 the percentage by mass of iron will be 72.4 percent so we put here 72.4 because there is percentage here question 7.6 iron oxide or iron 3 oxide reacts with carbon to produce carbon dioxide the equation for the reaction is 2 iron 3 oxide solid plus 3 carbon solid will give 4 iron solid plus 3 carbon dioxide gas. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas at room temperature and pressure that is produced from 40 kilograms of iron 3 oxide using excess carbon or the relative formula mass MR of iron 3 oxide is 160 grams per mole. The volume of one mole of any gas at room temperature and pressure is 24 decimeter cube. So we to find the volume of carbon dioxide produced. Now all my calculation will be focusing on iron 3 oxide because I have the mass for iron 3 oxide. The stoichiometric mole is 2, 3, 4, 3. I need to divide everything by 2 to make it 1, 3 over 2, 2, 3 over 2 because I'm focusing on that one. If I know the mole of that or if I know the volume of that, I can tell you the volume of carbon dioxide. So mole is mass weight over relative molecular mass. The stoichiometric mole now, after dividing everything by 2, I get 1, 3 over 2, 2, 3 over 2. I need that to be 1 because if I know that, that is 1.5. So the 40 kilogram is 40,000 grams because K is 1,000. So I replace K with 1,000 here. Mole of iron 3 oxide will be equal to the mass of iron 3 oxide, which is 40,000 grams over 160 relative molecular mass. I'm using that over relative molecular mass, which is that one, 160 grams per mole. And that gives 250 mole. MOL is the unit for mole. Now, I know the mole of iron 3 oxide, which is ratio 1 to 1.5. Now I can find the mole of carbon dioxide. The mole of carbon dioxide will be 250 times 3 over 2. Because this is for 1 and that's for 3 over 2. And that gives 375 moles. So the volume of carbon dioxide produced I need to work out. We know that one mole gives 24 decimeter cube. I'm looking for that mole. Therefore, if I times both sides by 375, that'll be 375 mole must give 24 times 375 decimeter cube. And that produces 9,000 decimeter cube. I've got decimeter cube here. I just need to put 9,000 there. And that's the answer.